and then we're back again because the the game never ends and the narrator would be sad if we were to leave the game completely even now Stanley's office was a distant memory what did it look like there was a computer perhaps and a painting was it a painting or a photo <laughs> he could no longer recall okay this is different When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, Did you do the blue perhaps, door? but yeah, eager we to that. get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight We've ahead to the up, opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. We've Feeling a wave the of disbelief, Stanley thing. decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So we've done this. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Oh, I didn't even Kill need to enter surprise. it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't tried to jump at all. I have been trying to jump. I, th there is no way to jump, it seems. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. See, we've done that and we've done this. But did we fully explore this? Because there was a massive room at the end of this when we escaped. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Activate what Mind horrible control. secret did okay, this we'll, place we'll, hold? We'll try that. Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Because the last time... We just shut it down, didn't we? Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature jump revealed. Jump out of the window. Each what window? The number of an employee in the building. You can jump Stanley's out of a window. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. There's a window at the beginning. First window on the right when you leave your office. In someone oh, really? else's control? Never. Oh, it left. was unthinkable. Okay. Wasn't it? I didn't was even, even know. Possible? And the, the phone? I can't believe I missed the phone. That was probably into the world. ending. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this. <laughs> and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for Okay, we pressed off last time, so let's go for on. The narrator with the one dollar, you can jump if you say Nightshark115 into the microphone. Try it, it will work this time, just trust me. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept kind you enslaved of. all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Uh-oh. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. 
but you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. We did that, if though. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. We did that, and we ended up back in the, the office. You think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh -oh. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Um, it's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your uh -oh. story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Uh -oh. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. Damn it! What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Damn it! A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Okay, I'm just I'm doing enjoying random this so stuff much. now. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These oh, well, are thank you. These are additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yeah, pretty much. You just assume oh, what a scumbag! That something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you. Running from button <laughs> to button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. He knows. Everything, anything. He knows. Here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? I mean, he has a point. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see you made hungry. <laughs> This is not a challenge. Kivid, Kividil, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Fine, Back to 400 to subs. First, so you <laughs> thank you so much. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And Let's believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. <laughs> Wrecked. Wrecked. Thank you, Kvidil. I probably messed it up. I know I always mess up names. Thank you so much for the subscription, man. And back here again. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. I don't see any windows to the left of me. To jump out of. I mean, I can't even jump anywhere. 
since I just I assumed it was space bar to jump but This one. Yeah, but how are you meant to? Like, I can't. I can't jump. You jumped off the lift earlier. I didn't. I just. There is no jump. I, I, I just plopped off the lift. I didn't know I could crouch though. Okay, well, like, this is silly. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was. I don't have time lounge. for messing around. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm doing a suggestion Look, Stanley, that we've... I think uh... perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust we in someone else can be difficult, by that we but the done fact yet. is that the story has been about nothing but you... We've only gone through that door once. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration danger, for others? Danger, danger everywhere. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your so side. So we went through the blue door last time. Should we go through now the red door this time? this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. <laughs> Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. I think I think I'm getting to the point where I'll be happier if we just stopped. <laughs> hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. <laughs> What yeah. on earth is this? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> wow. This is new. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, no. 
Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. <laughs> Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> okay, goodbye. No! Oh. oh, thank God. Damn it. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? We. Stanley, ah. let's go back to the other room. Can you do that? For my God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Oh. You yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? <laughs> or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh, the narrator can make me feel bad for him. At times. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly <gasps> oh needed support and God. guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. <laughs> okay. How do we do this then? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, a link. How to get out of the room. Oh, desk 434 and run into the chair. Four, three, four. I'm pretty sure this 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 seems very this this seems not right. Something not right about this. Oh, you can. All right. Okay. Let's try this. I'm not going to look at any, any of the rest of it, but... Good for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. <laughs> he likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe <laughs> the genius at work. Hmm. I I'm, not, I'm not getting the... Whatever, whatever trick. No, I'm not able to glitch myself onto it. There we go. There we go. No! 
No! Oh, you scum! <laughs> you scumbag! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then <laughs> praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag? No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. <laughs> but now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? <laughs> Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? <laughs> Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option and now you've come to see what happens in this one. Oh my so, God. What do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. Oh In fact, my God. I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> now, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Oh my god. This game. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this game. That's, I'm calling it an end. That's it. What a game this is. What a game. I, I, I can't, I know there's more endings probably, but that, that's it, that's the moment. That's the moment where I'm stopping. What a game. The creator of this game is a genius. An absolute genius.